two one. We're winging uh, this shit. Post post uh, Arnold Classic uh, showdown. What'd you think, man? Well, we are late for about a week, but uh, we were traveling, so better late than ever. Uh, everybody knows what happened. Yeah, congratulations to Heidi. And uh, yeah, of course, it's a big disappointment for uh, Samson. Did you think he? Did you think Samson was winning after Friday? Or no, initially, actually, um, initially when they step on stage, I thought it, it would be him getting possibly a little tighter, and he was bigger and all that stuff. But as as you could really see them next to each other, uh, the, the change and the difference in the, in the conditioning was obvious. Um, Conditioning freak, Hadi Chapman came in his best condition ever, yeah. uh, arguably. And and listen, we said this many times: videos, pictures that don't do justice. Because uh, I've seen now they put Hadi 2018 Vancouver and the 19 or whatever, and they compare. And no, you have to be there to see it. And uh, kudos to Hadi. Was I it mean, a two-man show? It was absolutely two man show. There was, yeah. there was even though Rafael in third and yeah, Rafael was uh, super improved. We talk about this one by one. I love what he brought, but it was still uh, you know much smaller. And uh, you know Tyler Mannion mentioned, yeah, he has everything, but he still needs to put some mass. And he did fifteen pounds already from his last show. Was it that much bigger? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Neil Hill said fifteen pounds, exact stage weight, and possibly even. Another couple of pounds, but uh, he he kept it at that. So, um, congratulations to Hadi. I, I think that he really <laughs> proved himself. Well, I mean, he came back after you know he got a lot of criticism at the Olympia. I mean, obviously losing the title and hey, he missed it a little bit. So I think I mean it was kind of like a me coming back in '09. It was redemption, and you know now he's got his visa for. UK, right? So I, I don't know. I think that was a matter of uh, getting it today, right? If he gets a visa or not. I think so. Uh, Monday. I mean, it's already Monday evening, so it's. Uh, I would assume he'd be on the way there. Tuesday morning in uh, in the UK. So he, if he didn't get it, he. Did you tell me it. he got it, or I don't know if I'm supposed to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what I heard is like that uh, he's supposed to get it today. You know how that one year, two thousand twenty. Uh, at Olympia, he showed up like the day before the show. Yeah, why is it supposed to be a big secret that like I don't know shows up or yeah. no? I don't know. I just I asked. I mean, it has I to asked, be a list somewhere, doesn't there? I asked someone. Yeah, and yeah. they said yes, he has it. And I said okay. Okay, I, I didn't ask Connie though. Listen, I, I hope he gets it because I think every athlete should have that opportunity to compete every time. You know, that's his profession. He's ready. Uh, he should be allowed. So I hope. I, I'm just saying this only time. When uh, um, Hadi was a little bit off, it was 2020, I believe, Olympia prejudging, when he came a uh, night before, and uh, he was holding some water, uh, you know, uncommon for uh, Hadi Chapman. And then uh, by the finals, he was so good that every judge gave him uh, second place uh, behind Big Ram. Do, do you feel that the stage and... Uh, talk about the stage, the lighting, and you know the setup. Was there a little more? Was it more visible? Was it a preference? I mean, above and beyond Mr. Olympia, when you see as a comparison, yeah. I mean, you could clearly see physiques much better with greater detail uh, here at Arnold Classic. Uh, anybody who, who was watching a live stream saw the difference too. You know, when you put uh, <laughs> those two screens back to back, uh, it's visible. So I, I just hope to God that uh, every Olympia is going to have a. You notice, though, you notice how much this topic has come up in the last year because you got to remember now, you know, we're living in a world of live streaming. And I mean, a lot of people are watching, tuning in. I know they, they broke records on the yeah. uh, pay per view. It's not even pay per view, it was just for stream. Yeah. So I mean. It's free. It's so important now for the people at home to be able to, to look at the bodies and not have confusion of backdrop and everything else. And I just wonder when, you know, maybe this will be noticed enough where they, they really take a, a stand on it. They should. Uh, I said, especially for prejudging, even if you uh, bring that black curtain behind me, yeah. <laughs> it should be a very wise decision, you know. So it, it, I mean, 
<clears throat> for me, it's hard because obviously I don't see very good <laughs> in some of the shows, especially some of the past Olympias when there's lights and all that stuff around. It's hard for me yeah. when the lights get really bright because of my transplant in this eye, my eyes get red and they hurt and I can't see as good. Yeah. This past show, the lights were as good as I've ever seen, but I don't know. I, w I mean, I don't know how good they were compared to years in the past. Yeah, but it's it excellent. was really good. It's excellent. I, I mean, listen, um, there's actually, I'm going to mention the, the gentleman uh, photographer, Josef Adult, who actually uh, told me he can come to any IBB Pro Show, think about this, and have exact same lights from exact same camera, from exact same di distance, and take picture of all those guys. So you can pretty much compare if he did the Jay Cutler 2009, you know, on the same lights, and now 2024, um, you know, Hari Chapman, and puts you next to each other. I mean, that, that was a wonderful idea. So I said, like, well, man, if you know how to do that, can you do something with the stage, that every stage could have the same lights? Then you, you compare apples to apples, you know? And uh, that, that was something. Anyway, um, back to the show. Uh, we were... Uh, talking here before the show and not me bias coach but you uh expert in the field that i i think when you compare hadi and, and samson you would use this term samson all day for you right because you see that he has that superior physique so i'm no longer bias coach right so i'm, I'm talking now as experts so they're gonna probably take me more seriously now when i said uh, i think that samson absolutely have the best physique uh, in the world, uh, and I was even using a term he's in league on his own, combining mass, thickness, width, shape, all that stuff. But all this being said, when he stood next to Hadi, the level of conditioning that Hadi brought it was visible in every pose. So then if you di dissect, I know that we're gonna dissect later, uh, pose by pose, conditioning factor was right there, so apparent that, uh, yeah, I, I can see judges uh, seeing unanimously, you know, uh, Hadi winning. And speaking of that, uh, now it's going to be two weeks later. They're going to have a rematch. I, I mentioned this. Your rivalry uh, against Ronnie Coleman. And it was like such anticipation. What is Ronnie going to bring 2003 and then 2004 and 2005? What is Jay going to bring? I think that this rivalry now against uh, uh, Samson and, uh, and Hadi, it, it's really going to be uh, so attractive for people. They're going to probably tune in and go there to UK. I know that you guys, you two guys are going to see the rematch. And let me tell you, anything can happen. If Samson finally listens to everybody, it's not just the noise, but every expert was constantly saying, Bring more condition, bring more condition. And that goes on me. As a coach, I failed to bring him in a better condition. So you know, that's the fact. So he would have to listen and suffer because we know what it takes to get Hadi Chapman conditioning. You did two, three hours of cardio when needed. Mm -hmm. I heard that um, Hadi was doing the three hours of cardio. And Hadi... <laughs> is as lean as the stable, and he still does that. I, I mean, there, there are levels to this game, and if you really want to be ripped, peeled, that's when it takes. So I just hope that even two weeks could make a difference. And uh, I see Samson being super competitive. It's crazy, though, that these guys coming from 212 are the kings right now of one the two biggest contests. But both of them look considerably bigger than 212. I mean, well, really, well, they're, well, they're I'm I assuming think, they're I 20 think, pounds up now. I think this, this yeah. backs up my bigger is not better thing where we all want to be 300, right, or get close to it, right? And, I I mean, you sit there, look at Ronnie Coleman in 03, right? He came back, and that's what it took to really shock. But really, was he in the best condition of his career? Not necessarily, but, you know, I, I, I can see where, you know, I know everyone's enamored by Samson's weight, right? if he's 300 pounds but like what is a realistic weight i mean is it not a weight or is it a look i mean what is it what is it going to take him to finally nail it that's the big question because now you're out of the camp right yeah, i'm out of the camp so 
Is there something that you look back, and I'm sure you have over these last few days, and reflect back, and you're like, maybe I should have, or could have, or maybe you made some suggestions, and you know, it's I know it's kind of like a collaborative thing when you yeah. tra- like I know when I trained with Chris or Hani, it'd be like, what do you think about this, right? And we yeah. all made a choice, so. It was depending, like you said, though, if, if they told me to do three hour, three hours of cardio and eat nails, you I was willing to do that because I was so hungry to be the best in the world, right? Well, in a way, I did try. So don't, don't get me wrong. I did try to express this. Let's give the credit for uh, uh, Samson the credit is due. He did 13 shows in two and a half years, and he kept improving, putting a mass on the right places, you know, shoulders got bigger, arms got bigger, back is improving, you know, to the point that, yeah, right now he's established as, a, as a, you know, Olympia danger at any point if he comes in that condition. Up until now, you know, of course, I would always throw in that hashtag bodybuilding. It's more than just conditioning. But when conditioning is so stellar, like uh, uh, Hadi showed up, and presentation, uh, you were not that prejudging. Uh, Matt and I was wa- were watching. Um, Hadi, we were we were talking. You you were Qu- quarter turns, dude. Yeah, you were talking about his wider waist and a little bit boxier, right? He shut us up big time because his waist was disappearing. He had zero boxy look to yeah, it at all. Yeah, vacuum was apparent. And he could keep vacuum all night and to the next day. I mean, it seems <coughs> like. I, I really uh, pay close attention to every little thing. Award presentation with Arnold. You can never see uh, Hadi lose the stomach or the legs. That's a award lot of guys presentation. Do that. A lot of guys do that. They hold the yeah. trophy up and their belly yeah, comes out. Yeah, the show is over. And uh, uh, that just tells you the level of professionalism and how great he wanted to look. So this is V-taper that we were saying he is not as uh, aesthetic. And V-taper, he is kind of boxy. Pretty. It was not apparent. And uh, size-wise, yeah, as everybody said that million times, uh, the the more ripped you are, you're going to appear that much bigger. And I don't know how much uh, Hadi weighed, but he looked big. He looked wide. You know, it was, when we go step by step, it was a little bit deflated chest, but it's so super strided, you know, that you can't really tell. Uh, it, it was wonderful look. So when 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 they when we're at prejudging, Milo, she was mm-hmm. texting me and saying, "What do you see?" And mm-hmm. the one of the things that I noticed right away is Hadi's presentation is flawless. Every quarter turn, every he doesn't let anything come out. And I noticed when Samson was turning, he wasn't keeping the stomach in. It was coming out not not bad, but it came out enough to where it was visibly noticeable and when you're standing next to someone like hottie who is peeled from the top of his hair to his toenails mm. and he's perfect it makes that a allu- it makes samson not look as polished so hottie and derek if this was the look at the olympia uh, i think that there's no question that uh, hottie would beat him listen so he has a great shot you feel in yeah in october but, but uh, uh derek is going to keep improving yeah. Yeah. Derek yeah. So, improve too. so that's going to be super interesting i do believe that uh, samson can still I, I mean when he even listens to this of course it's not criticism it's just a uh, fact i mean it's a great storyboard for the yeah. olympia right yeah. i mean the guy loses last year goes and gets Arnold Classic win, yeah. redemption. And and can he back. come back to win it? You know, now you have a now you have a lot of hype leading into the Mr. Olympia cuz Toddy we assume after this show will shut it down yeah. UK and you know we'll see him in Vegas in October. Somebody was saying like oh it's a bad idea for Hadi and it's big risk. I said, well, what do you mean? Who's going to beat him? Yeah, who's going to beat him? And especially now, after Arnold announced $500,000. Well, I know, but you have $300,000 reason yeah. to come. But to he it. had a 300000 last year, too, and he passed on it. Mm. You know? I, I, if I remember right, I could be wrong here, but I remember it, it's not easy for Hadi to get these visas. It's extremely difficult. And I think because he lost the Olympia, they said at all costs, find a way to get him here. And he got here, what, three weeks before? Yeah, Two yeah, weeks? Yeah, yeah. So that's probably why he never did it. But now, if it's half a million, they, I'm sure he will. They, they manage it. I, I do think that uh, Arnold raising the prize money, it's so wonderful because we're going to have a, everybody from a top what do you Olympians. think? What do you think Olympia is going to do? 
they're going to have to raise it, of course. Look, I know that uh, for a fact, back in the day, you know that yourself, Arnold would go over the Olympia prize money, but Joe Weider didn't allow it. So he threw in a hammer and so a So what do you think? What do you predict that the, uh, the Olympia is going to offer uh, for it's first? Gonna at least match. At least match. But it's a... Uh, do you uh, think so? Or? Higher, higher prize money, of course. Uh, what do I know? I'm just So this is, this is where it's, it's, it's a little different. Obviously, Arnold's an invitational. They have six classes. So... They choose what they bring in. The Olympia has to have all of them because it's the fine, it's the biggest show of the year. So if they raise the open men's prize, are they going to raise the other prizes? So I don't know if they will. Maybe they'll just raise the purse. How do you feel about the females um, sp- speaking out against the, uh, <laughs> about the prize money and not having Arnold certain the muscle girls in the contest? I, you know, before you say anything. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say anything. No, I'll say you know it. I mean? Listen, I read some of those comments. Yeah. And when I see someone put, if Arnold wants to earn his stripes, get fucking real. Like, f- you, are you serious? Yeah. If it wasn't for him, none of these divisions would even be here. Yeah. You know, if he chooses to have six divisions at his show. Three men, three women, Three men, three women. It's completely fair. And he brought the most popular of the three. He got, he got rid of 212 yeah. seven years ago. Why? Because men's physique and classic are more popular. So he's a, a promoter. He's, he's doing this financially to put on a show. Now, if you're going to say this to Arnold, say it to every other promoter that's out there. Because there's hundreds of shows around the world that only do one show or two classes or whatever. Why would you guys pile on Arnold to do this? Why not pile on all the other ones? If you're saying this to every other promoter, I get it. Now, one other thing too, there are only women shows. Rising mm-hmm. Phoenix gives away a hundred grand. You guys aren't at that show. That's all for women, you know? So it, 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 the, the way it was coming across felt very disrespectful. Did you, did you, do you agree or? You know, uh, Considering who is speaking, uh, I'm not allowed to say anything. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I get myself in trouble, you know, every so often. But, but listen, hey. Do you agree fi- with what Matt says? Fr- I mean, freedom of speech, yeah. Uh, Arnold can do whatever he wants. It's Arnold. It's an uh, uh, established show that you won three show times. Show is phenomenal. I mean, show is the, phenomenal. The and way it was run, it was organized. I mean, everything seemed to be. Just on point. It may, it's an enjoyable weekend for us now. Yes. Which, you know, I can't say that about every single one. but yeah. you, know, you know what I think one of the other things is some of the shows, and it's not the Olympia's fault. They drag on really long. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you go there for four or five hours, and it's, it's hard to sit through all these. Yeah. When you go to the Arnold, there's three classes each night. There's no more than 12 competitors. And they only let X amount of people do their routines. Maybe the Olympia can do that in the future and say, hey, we're going through this. The only people that are getting there to the finals, if you're in the top six, then it would be a little bit less. Then it might be a little more enjoyable. But the way it was ran, it was very smooth. And, but yeah. I understand this is an invitational and it's not the Olympias. The Olympia and the Arnold are not the same show. So you spent a week in Columbus. Are you mm-hmm. ready to move there yet or? <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but uh, now that you mentioned this, and, and you were there, you remember that 99 Arnold, they told us day before we have to like go for a, for a, a practice, like how we're going to appear there's going to be like a moving stage and where we're going to, everybody had a position. I mean, it's a high production. It was not just, okay, show it up here. No, we had to do rehearsal day yeah, before. I remember. You were there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The show that I beat yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I beat no, you. No, you beat me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you tried to slide one in there, Listen, huh? Listen, I'm still heartbroken that he didn't put this in that speech. Oh, my God. And Milos yeah. is here. He definitely he beat me once. Yeah, yeah, on this stage. Anyway, uh, it was a wonderful speech. You should do uh, public speaking much more often. I try to get him to. He doesn't uh, want to do it. Listen, you are so natural. You don't even have an accent like me. <coughs> Arnold does. Yeah. What does that mean? He would never. He would never want to lose. I it. was. I really wanted Arnold. I so I gave the speech and I had the the story. Yeah. I wanted to tell him about the watch and he walked whatever, off. and he walked off. So yeah. I really didn't get to. So so back to what we were saying. What do you think about them raising one division and not I, having no? All the I mean, there? listen, man. You know, it, it's it, it's kind of like I kind of like when I heard this, I was like, men's bodybuilding. It's still the king. It is, and it uh, always will be. 
you know, that's, that's what people come for, the muscle show. I mean, people might agree or disagree. I mean, you, a lot of our comments are going to favor us anyway. But just goes to show, I mean, that's what it's all about. Just like the Mr. Olympia. I mean, it's a, it's a substantial amount more than what the other classes are, right? And I know there's a lot of complaints. But in the end, man, like, you know, we chose our fields. Uh, I'm just happy that now, because of the lack of – large contracts these guys can actually compete and potentially win a lot more money and that's just not for the first place it's the seconds and the thirds and you know i know it's a little harder to qualify and it's you know there's a lot of shows which i don't think there should be as many shows honestly um but we do have way more international top guys than we ever had right you remember our days when the international guys would get invited to the noc but there was very few that were here Com, you know competing in in the top right you didn't have you know i mean, I mean there was always that oh is there politics with you know a guy from the uk or you know iranian guy winning i mean you remember i mean dorian yates was winning mr olympia for quite some time and he was like the only top foreigner that was in the the top spaces right from europe yeah yeah uh, listen uh, sport has uh, evolved i mean how I, not- i'd love to be winning 500k yeah uh, Are you gonna come back? You're no, trying. I wish, trying I, I, wish I could. No, I you're wish I could. I, I think Phil Heath should, though. Yeah, I've seen. I'd that love part. to see you Phil know, Heath. I want to expand on this a little bit more. In, in in life, not everything is fair and equal. That's just the way it is. It doesn't matter what sport it is. Uh-huh. You know, we see this. You see this in basketball. The WNBA players want to get paid more. And they said it's not fair, but the reality is, the NBA subsidizes them. They don't, they don't bring in the revenue. So if your division doesn't bring in the revenue, you can't be upset at a promoter for not wanting to invest money in something where they're not going to get a return. What, what I love is a guy to be able to make a million bucks a year oh. between endorsements and, and prize money. And, I mean, Derek and these guys are, are doing that, right? Absolutely. Especially now with how I much mean, money's there. I mean, listen, $500,000 first place, that's uh, absolutely su- substantial, right? So... Back it's in our times, I mean, you you were winning hundred grand, right? And that was a lot. Just think about that. You know. Five hundred grand, if you're smart with it, could change a trajectory. Of and your then life. Olympia, and then the Arnold Classic. When I told my mom, Dubai I told, show. I told my mom he raised the money to five hundred, and she's like, "How much did you win?" I said, hundred. She's like, "Wow, five hundred thousand, You but, know. But just let's let's think of it this year. Let's let's take Hottie for example. Mm-hmm. He just won the Arnold, so he won three hundred. He's gonna go. I, I don't know what that is. One. 100 or 135 or 150 over 100 and let's mm-hmm. let's just say hypothetically he comes and wins the olympia yeah. and gets another 400 yeah. and then he goes and wins the arnold again next year and gets 500 that's yeah. almost one and a half million dollars yeah imagine that and, and that's in 12 months yeah. because that that's a short period yeah that's a well, lot of the olympia is going to be more he said and i'm assuming let's say the olympia it goes up to, to let's say let's say they go to 500 the arnold and olympia there's six months apart. You win both yeah. of those. It's a million dollars. And then another six months, another Rightfully, one comes, another hot. You can win one and a half million dollars. Rightfully so. That's going to you know, bring more top players into the Arnold Classic. And then you know, possibly oh. when they're in shape, they're going to go to Dubai show. There's a hundred grand. hundred grand. Yeah. yeah. And it it then, makes me wonder, though, for the longest time, it stayed at a hundred. Yeah. I mean, it's like the Olympia, you know. That stayed because at you didn't speak up. If you spoke up, you know, like you, you have the voice. <laughs> and, you and, would be and for me and for me i wish there was more money yeah. for all the divisions i did yeah. i do but money doesn't come out of thin air we're not the u.s government we can't just print it so we have to find a way to make it and if there's a way if some of these girls that that want or even got even other divisions sit down with the league and figure out what can collectively can the industry do to raise more money from sponsors for these yeah. other divisions well might as well mention uh, my wife Betty, right? Mm-hmm. When you talk about what is the most popular sport in the United States, here car yeah. racing, oh. NASCAR, I or UFC. I would say okay, well, UFC. it's still American football. <laughs> I still, I think that UFC is going to become UFC by far and, and, and NASCAR yeah. are more popular. <laughs> I, I would say American football, right? It's there. So, yes. but female American football league that she played for twenty years, hardly any anybody knows, right? So that puts that in perspective. You can ask for equality, you know, what one brings to the table and what the other. And, and, and 
And, and just imagine if, and I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, don't go there. Yeah. <laughs> really? You know, American football is not number one sport? No. Oh. It's been NASCAR for a long time. That's how much I know. NASCAR. Yeah. I would assume UFC, if not have passed NASCAR, it's... UFC is becoming... Globally. globally yeah. It's globally. I'm so almost positive maybe NASCAR soccer? has more viewers well, it's than on, anyone else. I mean, it's on national TV. Yeah. NASCAR is not... NASCAR is like on regular TV. Yeah, yeah. It's not... You know, UFC is yeah. taking over. UFC is right there. Yeah. USC is more exciting to watch. I'm not even, I don't watch a lot of the fights, but because Dustin Poirier is a friend, so I'm messaging me because I don't follow it as much as I used to, but I yeah. wanted to see it. So yeah. I'm, watch, I'm watching it, and I got my little earphones in, and Vanessa's sitting over in the corner, and I'm, all of a sudden I jump up and start screaming, and she looks at me, I'm like, oh, shit, because yeah. he knocked the guy out. It was so exciting. Oh, my God, Dustin. Because he like wasn't supposed to. Savage, yeah, yeah. Listen, to accept that fight was uh, such a it's risk. It's a risk, yeah. yeah. So on a, on a different tip, yeah. talk about you winning the award. It and, was pretty, mm. pretty, uh, it was a pretty exciting moment for me, actually. You know, it, it kind of hits you when you're up there, and obviously I was watching that highlight reel, and that kind of, I've seen it, right? But when you see it on the big screen, you know there's a whole audience watching it, um, and we know how many people world. are tuning in. Yeah, so, you know, it was a great moment for me, and, it, you know, it's hard to, to reminisce as deep because, you know, I, I wanted to kind of, I had a couple trigger points of what I wanted to speak about, you know, disappointing. I left Hani out of the speech, you know, with yeah. the quad stomp, you know, you had it, my, you had it listed though. I had it, listed. you had it on your I notes. I actually just, have it in my notes and I just like, I was trying to get cover the topics. And honestly, I felt like I was talking a lot. So I'm like, damn, I don't want to drag this thing. I even said in the speech, I'm like, guys, I don't, I know there's a lot of stories. So just hang with me, you know? Uh, because that was obviously a huge pivotal moment in of my course. career, right? Um, but it was cool. I mean, it was great to be share the time with Arnold to get that breakfast with him. He came by the booth to see me the, on Friday, mm -hmm. and uh, you know we talked, had conversation probably more than we ever did. And I felt like you know just everything. You know, Brian did a great job. The staff. I mean, we had security the whole time, which was great, so we could move about. Thought the expo was super crowded. You know, on on Friday and Saturday. Yeah. Um, great moments and uh, you know once again I'm honored you know to be in that kind of company with you know the people that have gotten it before me I, I feel uh, I feel pretty honored you know when you sent me the list of who had accepted it and then to l l watch on and have that time on the stage and I kind of wanted to make a joke and I said you know I'm, I seem to find a way back here every year because <laughs> we did 35 last year you know so he brought us on stage and now of course this year I got this so we'll see what next year is going to bring you know you already won everything right no, he has to win the Masters Olympia. <laughs> yeah, good luck. You gonna go back next, next year? year? Next year. I told yeah. I told Angelica, yeah. I said, listen, it's not this year because she's doing the Arnold Arnold UK. She got fourth. Yeah. And she's gonna do the Olympia. And I said, you gotta, you can take a year. You have to go get that because then legitimately she would have every, everything. If she won it, because she doesn't mean you're, she's gonna win, she would legitimately have every single f title possible. So you had three guys in the show. Actually, I had two. Oh. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I, I started with uh, James, and uh, he hired me back, at, I think, August, September, something like that, and uh, we were working perfectly, right? And and then I, I think he got uh, in, in a perfect shape, well ahead of the time, but then uh, when we, he would send me the updates, right, it was sometimes, okay, he had a refeed when it was not planned, so then I told him, like, oh, well, why would you have a refeed? So he would say, like, well, when he drops... Uh, kilo or more you know he panics and then he takes it and that's how i was uh, following me so i said like you know do you need my help or you're just going to do it yourself so uh, i mean he chose to do it himself and i love james i love his physique i think he brought a good package yeah he did yeah, yeah. and uh, i think he can improve it more but uh, yeah uh, i didn't really uh, work with him you know for that show. He was he was, in, he was conditioned. Yeah. I, I mean we started He's big too. We we started and I think he put uh, some size in uh, all the right places. He's uh what I call every bodybuilder's bodybuilder like oh, super strong, thick, yeah. muscular, yeah. you know, hardcore. And uh, <clears throat> before I forgot, I do want to mention this because maybe somebody is going to take out of the context when I when I talk about Samson still needing to get in a better condition. So Am I saying that he doesn't train like, like a mad dog? No. I mean, uh, th this is what people would think. They, oh, Samson could train harder. He trains super hard. 
you know, five days a week, hardcore, all that stuff. Uh, I just think that uh, he needs to die down a little bit more and uh, see how far his body can go. Now, uh, my train of thought uh, you know, get digressed. Uh, he did 13 shows. Now, when you do 13 shows, right, and you're constantly in the diet mode and all this stuff, it's not like you're getting burned out, but you've been there, right? It's hard to go with that extra step. It's nobody did compete that much, and nobody improved that much in this period of time. So uh, he needs to get that credit. The next step just for him is to dig deeper. And I think that message from everybody would just be there. If Samson brings it, he's untouchable. That's what I think. Okay, so uh, I forgot to say that uh, I do want to mention because uh, I don't want that to be manipulated. Horse MD. Horse MD. Love the guy. Uh, so people were really um, looking, looking forward, forward to, to him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you saw him in Romania, right? And we you know, beat Nathan at the one yeah, show. No, right? I, I, no, we were in Romania at the Masters. We weren't there. Oh, uh, you were not there. Okay, so the other people were there. Yeah, he brought it to uh, Romania, absolutely. And we did pretty much the same thing there, but uh, reportedly, I mean, uh, he has a, a restaurant, he has a clinic, he has uh, several other businesses, and uh, January was super busy for him, right? So... He didn't put the uh, uh, exact same prep. So he was a little bit behind, uh, and then there was going into the stage with the monsters like Samson, like Akeem Williams, like, uh, you know. And, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, we didn't bring the respectful condition for him to, to have a more impact. He has a bright future, though. You can oh, tell. absolutely. And he's super motivated. And he, he did tell me, okay, uh, he need a good, good year, you know, or, or more. Is he going to do Arnold Brazil? No, no, no. Okay. He, he didn't plan this, uh, you know, from the very beginning. Craziest legs. And uh, again, on the stage, maybe it was not even visible. Yeah, but uh, I tell you, I've seen your legs, and your legs are crazy, crazy. <laughs> uh, in a different way, you had feathers, and you have that sweep. Um, I think that um, horses are closest to... Um, Dennis Wolf. You remember how Dennis Wolf had that uh, crazy sweeping lateralis and then he had a hanging hamstring. And then uh, a horse had crazy calves too, you know, so crazy arms too. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing. What's he need to improve on? A back majorly and a chest. I, I think these two big muscle groups uh, determine the, the level of. Uh, muscle mass and and uh, uh, that that. So wow does he effect. take the rest of the year off? Yeah. And focus on twenty five. Yeah, he did have uh, some injury before shoulders, and th that prevented him from training back properly. And then he he made a decent improvements. If you see uh, Romania show, like lat spread uh, from behind was quite wide. Back the biceps was still not there, so we were trying to fix that pose. But then it's like uh, you know. Uh, it's just not going to be there. So he chose, opted for a version that shows his shoulders and arms much more, even though he knows he's going to lose that pose. Yeah, uh, great attitude. I mean, he didn't take this uh, uh, as, a, as a bad thing, even though Brazilians, you know how they are. They're so passionate about it. And he was going to go against Rafa. And, you know, interestingly, those two guys are the best of friends. Yeah. I mean, it was so wonderful to see that they support each other. They, they just love each other, you know, and they're there for each other. And speaking of uh, Rafa, what a beautiful physique. Uh, complete package. I, I heard uh, Tyler Mannion dissecting each and every mandatory pose. And he said, this man has a, not a single weakness and, and not a weak mandatory pose or a muscle lagging. So, yeah. He put 15 pounds. Uh, Neil Hill said, okay, he, he'll need probably another year, year and a half. Uh, they don't want to rush it. They don't want to put the size too quickly, which I think it's uh, great when you can do it. Yeah. 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 All right. Do you want, you want, the, the do you want to go through this? The other one. Which one? You know, that uh, you were looking. No. The other one was the other, the other group. Yeah. This is just the top two. 
Yeah. I can okay. pull that okay. one now. All right. All right. So that doesn't matter. Yeah, you, yeah. Let's let's so what I'm gonna what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up the uh on the screen here. Let's go right okay. there. Uh show the screen right now, just uh Okay, no, 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 don't move. Okay, just okay. look at look at right this moment, right? Yeah. Is this going to be shown? Yeah. So look look at the size here, right? In a just completely relaxed <laughs> pose, right? Here you can see that uh, kind of difference. But when it comes to posing, Master Hadi Chapan, the way he presents himself, he grows right in front of you on the stage. He widens up. Okay, go ahead. Hmm? All right, push pause. Push pause, yeah. <coughs> so talk about it. Okay, this is the only time when um, Hadi actually flexes his abs. It didn't yeah. vacuum. He doesn't vacuum yet. And even here, it's not uh, wide waist to block you like we, we suggested maybe before. Those abs, uh, possibly the craziest abs. They might be some of the best of all time. With intercostals, yeah. That's, uh, and then V tapers there. Of course, I think that the Samsung, stay there, okay. We didn't, we didn't analyze the oh, frontal legs. But, but Samsung just is so imposing standing there in the, in the frontal legs pose. But Hari, <laughs> on conditioning, you know, made it like, oh, okay. You want me to keep going? Yeah, I mean, uh, what, what do you, uh, wait, okay, what do you say, uh, Jay? We, we mentioned this, Samson had a superhero look, right? You no, know, like, like, like I said, when, when you messaged me first, when they first came out, like, obviously, Hottie's ridiculously conditioned, yeah. but Samson looks like a superhero. Yeah. He does. He looks like a, like I told you, he looks like a walking Photoshop. Yeah. And that's yeah. not, and that's just. Okay. Boom. Right there. Okay. Both extremely small waist. Mm -hmm. V tapered. You know, I, I like flow of Samson more as I'm an aesthetic guy. But how can you uh, criticize Hadi? Big arms, wide lats, sweeping ties, everything is you there. You can see the you can yeah. see the cross striations on his quads even through from yeah. here. I mean, here there was that uh, thing. I would be biased, coach, and say Samson could hold his own. A little bit conditioning, right? But uh, conditioning matters that much. Mm -hmm. Jay, you want to say? Yeah, Jay, go ahead. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, he just looks a lot bigger here, you know. I mean, if you really compare body to body, I mean, Hadi just so how, more did, density. How know? much do you think Hadi weighs? If you were to guess, two thirty, two thirty five max. And if Samson's three hundred, does he look yeah. sixty five pounds less? No, no, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hadi's just got a lot of detail. Detail. I don't, I don't like when people spike their feet like that, though. Like how he's doing. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you that. I think he, I know why. Yeah, we know why. His right leg. His is right legs look a little smaller. Smaller, yeah. yeah. And you can't really tell. You know, no. he's master of illusion. He didn't even need to do this because normally the way he positioned, uh, you can't tell. I, I saw it two years ago and a year ago. Uh, you know, he improved the legs actually. I think he. He blasts them. You've seen that uh, squats like uh, leak out. <laughs> yeah. that he did some uh, tremendous. I, I mean, Samson is just beautiful. Look at that. It's conditioning uh, the twins that pose. Width is there, both of them. But even when I look at Hadi, just because he's shorter, he just looks a little bit uh, more. He looks bigger because he's more so compact, even though obviously Samson's physically bigger than he is. Yeah. Samson looks crazy. And see, this is what I was talking about, these transitions. Yeah. This is where I think Samson really improved all the glute, hamstring, tie-in, and... Yeah. You see, bias coach would say there's so much more meat on, uh, on uh, Samson. Samson. And round muscle bellies, all that, you know. 
take her leg and everything else, but uh, condition creates the detail a, of the arm, shoulder. Look yeah. at the, look at like the arm, shoulder tie-ins, everything. You know, you just don't have the condition there. You know, and, and you know, there's many uh, video footages and comparisons. Few rounds, in some you can see much more the the dominance in thickness of, of Samson, but when you freeze like this, you can. When Hadi does that, it looks just ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, that's his pose. Okay, here Hadi tremendously improved since the Olympia, right? Okay. Yeah. You see, I, I love Samson's flow and everything. Samson needs more meat on his back. A little bit yeah. wider, yeah. yeah. That's what, uh, but, but look how pretty it is. Look at his arms. I mean, uh, arms improved. Yeah, big time. Uh, hanging, you, you know, regard, regardless of where, what Samson looks like here next to Hadi, what he looked like three years ago to now is a completely different bodybuilder. Completely different. Look, he's con he's battling one of the top guys in the world. I, I mean, everything flows perfectly right here. If if it's just a little bit wider back and more defined. Mm -hmm. oof. That spread will yeah it's just weird <laughs> how Hadi pulls out those lats from Iran all the way here to the United States and boom <laughs> yeah he he has that and he's got the condition from head to toe mm. even though that's not enough for uh Derek I don't think from behind Derek would have a more defined you know, glutes and, and hamstring, and I'm against glutes. <laughs> but uh, it's very close. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for sure, seeing this show, this version of Hadi, I would say, would beat Derek last year. Mm -hmm. I wonder if anyone will skip the Olympia and just do the Arnold. I don't think so. Why would they? I did. Yeah, for half a, I mean, five hundred grand is a lot of money. Biggest, dude. biggest regret, regret of your life. <laughs> five hundred grand is a lot of money. Two thousand two. Yeah, you know, is it, uh, look at that. I made Go more. Ahead, I Mish. made more guest posing. Yeah, I mean, this is this is. Uh, we talk about prize money. Once I won ten thousand dollars, <laughs> you know, like, oh, you yeah. one time it might like, be, it could sorry. be thirty for grand right now. So we talk about. Don't know. Oh, actually, I, I did twice. Yeah, you're right. Ten thousand for winning, winning the first place in Canada, and then uh, that. But I went like ninety five, ninety six. I see if I compete in Olympia, and you place fourth, fifth, what are you gonna get? Thousand, two thousand. So I organized uh, eleven countries guest posings and made, made the way killing. More. Yeah, way more. So, but uh, but listen. Uh, Let's uh, talk about so this. so, uh, look at these two guys are gonna be exciting to watch throughout the next few years. And of course, throw in the Derek and then throw in whoever's gonna come next to them. But but this is exciting fight that uh, we're gonna, you guys are gonna watch live next Saturday. Uh, Samson thickness, it's overwhelming. But conditioning on, on the Hadi again, brings your eyes to him. Jay, you see that? Yeah. I mean, look at the chest. You know, there is considerable just, size. Yeah, you just can't stop looking at the condition. Hadi was just like rock solid, you know. Yeah. That shot right there. Yeah. And I promise all the people that they're watching this right now is different in person. Yes. Big yeah. difference there, isn't there? Did you see that when it was going on? Yeah. yeah. I mean, going into the show, you know that Hadi has that unbeatable absent eye shot yeah just don't know what version is going to show up though yeah well With samson confident you know yeah samson is very confident and he should be of course he's going into this Arnold classic is still believing he can take him and it's very possible look at this vacuum yeah
Were they walking up on the line? Yeah, just a little bit, but that, that was very good. It was very good. Okay, Milos. I think Hardy's legs improved from the Olympia. I think they. I think they're bigger. Hundred yeah, percent. The Olympia. Hundred yeah, percent. Definitely. Because yeah. his legs looked a little down at the Olympia. Yeah. But they look back to the full blown. You know, chest is a little down, but when you see those striations from a clavicle bone all the way down, <laughs> you know this this is very hard to beat. I mean, as big as Samson is, yeah. like I said, it's that 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 uh, condition. Yeah, and judges put it clear that conditioning matters that much. Yeah, and uh, in I, I listened to Tyler's uh, you know, comments comments at the end, and the way he made it sound, it was it was not wasn't really close. The way he described it, you know, what is funny. Tyler said when he was I don't know how many years old, and he watched you, and he was a huge fan of you. And going to all the shows, he became such an expert as a teenager already. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, if you talk to Tyler about anything, uh, I'm blown away. Mm -hmm. He sees every little detail. Mm -hmm. He can see uh, one striation, one skin fold, one wrong angle. The way he was guiding uh, uh, Samson to hit some poses, it, and then he hits it right in front of me. <laughs> he does it all perfect, you know. Uh, so I have to give him credit. Uh, Tyler, you know, basically marinated himself into the perfect uh, judge right now. And um, yeah, the, the best thing is those reviews and uh, it's educational and he has no problem telling everybody exactly what was their fault, what they need to improve and how to go about it. So, yeah. So going into the Arnold UK, do you anticipate seeing the same outcome? Mm, I mean, if Hardy's there, I mean, I feel he can win this pretty handedly. But I don't know if there's a lock on second. I mean, I would assume Samson, right? But he's from the UK. He's, I mean, if he improves, we just don't know, like, what his game plan is as of now. I mean, I, I thought there was some talk of him being ill, you know, so of coming back at Columbus. I don't know if it was exhaustion or what, but... You know, when you're a week and a half out and you saying you're going to the hospital and then the next day announce that you're doing the show, I, I don't know what that means. Well, I, th I think it's for sure a combination of everything, emotional, you know, and then physical, you know, how much you I sleep. Know he said his body was the, shutting down, though, and uh, then the next day he announced he was doing. Uh, that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, so I'm, I'm on the site here now, and I don't know if it's been updated or not, but uh, Samson, Hadi. James Hollingshead, Akeem, Antoine, um, John De La Rosa, and Mo Shaban. I think Akeem can shock some people, but to be if, honest. If Akeem looks like he did on, on Saturday night. <clears throat> so let's talk about uh, them, too. He placed seventh of the prejudging and uh, straight fourth at the finals. There goes for anybody that even thinks they're not judging. You know, I had athletes before that I tried to pump up for the finals. Ah, man, I sure already know they're not judging. They are judging yes, every single are. time everything. So what did he finish in the show? He ended up sixth. sixth. Yeah. Who did he bump out? Uh, Antoine. Antoine right. was excellent. I uh, love Antoine. He improved. He was conditioned. Great presentation. You know, he, he was close. Listen, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was very, very close. But but um, to move up a team from seven to four tells other guys never give up hope and just bring your your best at finals. Do you think they yeah. can hear this freaking stereo I through it. it? I doubt it. My God! Uh, so for the people that aren't noticing right now, one of the neighbors here is a car stereo business, and the whole ceiling's rattling right oh. now. You hear that? Hold on a second. Why am I the only one having a uh, this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You'd like to have them on. Yeah. <laughs> Mine, just, only one side just, was working, I just so I took realized, it off. So I didn't hear any noise. All right. Let me make sure we can all hear our voices still. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just noticed, you know. Gee. Well, m move it back that way so it's not right in your face. Okay. Listen, the Cutler cast, we're, we're really sophisticated around here. <laughs> yeah, I know. You didn't know this? I just realized, you know, I'm the if only people one knew how it. If people knew how high-tech this setup was with all of our producers and all of our videographers yeah. back here and all yeah. the... All the staff. 
Hey, guys. Were you going to be watching uh, the show this weekend? Of course. I can miss uh, shows. Where are you going to be? Home. Yeah. Is, is there a UFC this weekend? Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it's it's considerably later. You know, there's a eight-hour difference between here and the UK. So it's going to be already over. Yeah, You can sit down. Yeah. I bet he makes some of that, I that mean, sushi. I mean, I did. Listen, I did before. Uh, watch in between the you know fights. I was watching UFC many times. <laughs> yeah, but uh, uh, what I was going to say, uh, John De La Rosa. Let's let's give uh, credit also what credit is due. He brought his all time best. Yes, we kind of criticize him. I did. I say cover the upper body. Look at the lower body. You know he he needs to improve the, the legs. Legs actually look pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and he said, uh, "Yeah, that I pissed him off and motivated him, so he trained him harder. So that's good." I was super happy for John. Um, you know, I went down to his wedding in December, and, yeah. and he was talking about you know he's waiting to get the the Arnold invite, mm. and he got the invite, and you know six weeks out, and five weeks out, and four weeks out, and he would send me some pictures, and I'm looking, I'm going. Man, at, at a month out, he was in better shape than he's ever been on stage. And I'm like, okay, we'll see yeah. if he puts it. And they pulled it together, and he showed that don't don't count anybody out. Can you believe that he said he usually has a fat ass? <laughs> I, I'm serious. Uh, you know, he had a striated glutes. So when, when some people have that booty and, uh, you know, you never get shredded, like I never had a single striation anywhere there mm -hmm. right but, uh, he, but he told he, he told like, he told me he's going to be even tighter at this show yeah so hey man i hope he is because he's he yeah. could he, i believe john will be one of the guys circling wherever he pl falls he falls it's going to be fair and he's he's going to be able to I don't stand know if he needs to be a lot tighter though <sighs> well uh, friday he was much better than saturday uh, this time it's a one day show, so you know you just uh, and then he's going to take off, right? I don't I don't think he's going to do anything. I'm uh, not sure. Yeah, yeah, especially uh, with Arnold Classic being now uh, announced to be such a increase in the prize money, he would probably focus on that, and he needs more time. You know, he's probably not going to do the Olympia. Uh, it would be hard to qualify. Probably possible, Could. yeah, but uh, just you know, yeah. you do these two shows, and it's a lot. It's a taxing, but yeah. but I think John will be one of the guys in that top three mm -hmm. circulating. Regardless, what'll happen. What did he finish at this show? Fourth. Fourth, yeah. And did he get any money for that? Like, yeah, for sure. Oh, I'm sure he got a decent sure. check for I it. I got yeah. 15 grand when I won against you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's more now. 16. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. but for, but for John, it's the proudest moment of your life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You just got bullied by me yeah, on your own yeah, show. Yeah. Let him do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs his. He yeah, needs it his is clout, some, You know. No, I'm, I'm. I was super happy for John though, because I know some like, he tore he tore his bicep yeah. the year before, and he Let, just. For this him is to such a, a, a classic physique. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you said about a year ago in one of the our podcasts how like classic might be taking over, but uh, as you made a statement earlier today. Bodybuilding is bodybuilding. It's going nowhere. There, there was a difference in excitement for a classic this year and uh, Olympia, mm -hmm. open division. So let's put this in perspective. You know, open, open is open. You, you know why? You but, know why that is? I think because Chris, Chris is so popular. Yes, and he didn't, sometimes people he didn't think that that just means the entire division. I'm not saying anyone is. Everyone, Urs is super popular. Remote, they're, they're all the guys are doing well, but Chris is so popular. That it it makes that whole division probably the most popular bodybuilder, right? Well, for sure, of yeah, anyone right competing now, now yeah. yes, I don't think it's close and for a while. But uh, I was actually fortunate enough to to see prejudging from the first row. Uh, I didn't expect it, but it, it just ended up uh, being there. I was super impressed with the Vasily. You know, I just thought that Ramon is still winning on the completeness, on the upper body to lower body body balance. Uh, I thought so. There was a one point difference, and uh, Vasily has that crazy upper body, back, shoulders. Uh, I don't know if you've seen today on the Instagram the super fibrotic delts in the back of the biceps posed and uh, uh, most muscular, similar to Hadi, you know, getting cross threaded everywhere. He had a little bit wider waist and a little bit smaller legs, but legs improved. So dramatically, I've seen picture comparison from a couple of years ago and now. 
they're not big, but they're so separated, they create the illusion of being bigger. Mm-hmm. Now they compare him uh, uh, with Chris, and if he can be uh, considered a threat, of course, you know, he's, he's coming. So talk about that a little bit, because over the last couple years, it seems like Chris has just overpowered everybody with the width, with the, the V taper, with how much size he has. But now he's, he's got a guy that he's going to go up against that's about two inches taller mm-hmm. and I think is a lot bigger than him. But he might not have that illusion that Chris has. Uh, King Kamali and Dennis thought that he's more muscular than Chris. I don't know. I'm super impressed with Chris Bagdell bicep with the Chris uh, lat spread. You know, it's like... Because he has an itty bitty waist and he's got the wide, wide shoulders. Yeah, Chris has way better legs, right? And it's just complete package. It's hard for me to think that anybody in the classic physics still can touch Chris. You know? I don't know if he can touch him. I just think to compare him, mm-hmm. Chris overpowers everybody. Yeah, he won't be able to overpower. I mean, I'm not you, saying he won't beat uh, him. You you sit there and say you thought Ramon bested Wesley. You you were watched it. Think about it. Chris is dominating Ramon. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you should, like, why Why yeah. do we think that what, what, he's going to push and be able to stand with Chris? No one's been able to stand with Chris. Yeah. I, I, can, see the, I can see the argument. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but, like, if you look at the front double. We hope so, anyway. Wesley has better arms. Mm. He's he's thicker. You know, now he doesn't, Chris has probably bigger legs, but Wesley probably has better lines in his legs. But Chris has that itty bitty waist. Yeah, and Wesley's waist is a little wider. Ridiculous. You yeah. know, but I think Chris's best shot is his side chest. You know, I don't know how Wesley's going to compare to that. It's good. I mean, he has a good side chest, but uh, still so tall and legs a little bit lengthy. Yeah. You know, kind of like. I, th- uh, I think Wesley will compare if he's in that condition at the Olympia. I think he'll compare yeah. better at Chris. I'm not saying he's going to beat him. I mean, uh, we Ra- Ramon was win UK, right? Ramon was a little bit off for him because he has shown some better condition. Yeah, he was smaller. They said, and and also uh, legs. He was losing legs uh, in comparisons. I mean, he trained for six weeks. I think it, yeah, the, that's what the, said. He only the condition is there weeks. and the lines were there, but not flex all the time. Okay, um, Tyler Mannion mentioned that uh, he needs to work on his posing there are many poses that he can change and still he lost by one point so he, he was narrow like uh, that back double biceps from double biceps when vastly opens he was dramatically wider so that's probably accounts for something so one other person i wanted to touch on that was brian mm. and to me it looked like that was one of the best brians we've seen in a very 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 long time what does he have to do to move up is it just a, a height thing because the other guys are all around six feet or taller? Like, what What do you think it is? A little bit bigger legs. It's still, you know. Because he was shredded. Was, he was shredded. Yes. He was absolutely peeled. Great condition. I don't know how old Brion is, but uh, he's <laughs> bringing it at, at this stage. Mm-hmm. He's way better than uh, last year's Olympia. And why do you, why do you think Urs beat him? <sighs> I wasn't there prejudging, so I have no clue. Earth has superior legs, everything, uh, size, conditioning, calves, separation, you know, threaded glutes like maniac, mm-hmm. you know. So upper body, Brion out muscled him big time. Brion's back door biceps is a sight to see. Yeah. I mean, oh, my God. You don't I even still, know. I still remember the first time they had Classic at the Arnold, uh, and I remember I was standing at the flex booth, and – I remember looking up on the big screen and, and just seeing it. I'm like, who the... And I looked and I'm like, yeah, it, his back double is so ridiculous. It, it's so many muscles that it, it, it probably more than an anatomic chart yeah. when you look at all the little muscles. Uh, I think he was recognized, but listen, somebody has to be first and somebody has to be can fourth. He, can he, could he come into the Arnold UK and shock all these guys? Yeah, because very possible. Even the legs, you can improve legs in a week or two weeks, right? But some guys could not hold their conditioning. He could. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. I don't know who is entering. I think Urs is still doing it. I think Urs is doing yeah. it, and, and Wesley. And, and look, when you say that Urs was maybe not as conditioned as before, he was still great, great conditioned. But when you set the standard, you know that you are judged also a little bit by your old standard. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we'll we're going to be seeing it mm-hmm. in person. Yeah, text me from uh, first throw. Last time you were texting me, but uh, I was you seeing, didn't believe me. No, I was seeing different things on the <laughs> I know. live stream because he was telling me so and so's out of shape. I was like, no, he's uh, not. Yeah. He's like for real until we showed that you. That was the, about James. Yeah, yeah, James. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because what I've seen on the screen was nothing like that 4K that you brought. So we, we leave out Wednesday and we get in Thursday. And then obviously Jay, uh, Jay has some appearances in the photo ops for him and Ronnie. And then uh, they'll announce a couple little appearances he's doing. Are you going to watch me judging this time? I think it's all in one, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. Isn't it just a one shot at the night show? Don't, don't they know. walk out and do their pre-judging and they come back uh, like two hours later? I'm pretty sure it's an, a one shot deal from the show um and then one thing i'm looking forward to is phil heath has his documentary coming out oh. universal and they're having sunday they're having like a, a red carpet screening so we get to see it before it hits the movie theaters which is which is kind of cool to be able to to support him and and see something like that you know before it comes out so you think he's going to compete next year i don't think he will but he should consider it because I'm trying to rise it up a little bit. A 90% Phil Heath beats a lot of these guys. A lot. Not everyone, but... But he, he would not be interested to place second, right, or third. Of course not. He yeah. would, no. So no, but you see would, how he looks? Yeah, he, crazy. And, and all, think of all the time that his midsection's back to normal. Yeah. It's healed. Um, I mean, now speaking of that, I posted two, three days ago that uh, footage of Phil... You know, on my Instagram because I was <laughs> everyone so was coming after me. Because yeah, listen, I, I wasn't here. I left 2010 and I came back 2017. Mm-hmm. So I didn't see all those years of him battling you and uh, yeah. then winning and all that stuff. And you see the footage. Sometimes the thing is a Photoshop, right? It's just like impossible. So he puts this photo up and this video up, and I went on there and commented like since he said he never got to see that in person, I said, you just saw how crazy hot he looked. Imagine what Phil would have looked like. It would have taken, thought he looked so good, it would have taken Phil in his really good years, 11, 10, 13, to beat that version of Hadi. That's how crazy Phil looked. And all these people start chiming in, Phil at his worst would have beat Hadi. And I'm like, that's not the point. I'm pointing out the fact that he didn't get to see that 13 Phil where he walked out, they compared him one time, and Steve said, you're done. Yeah, that's how Dorian Yates was once also. Only one comparison because by IBB rules, you have to be compared in order to place. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what it is. Back in the day, I don't know how it is now, but I'm sure. <laughs> Do, you know, this was a conversation multiple of us have had. When you see that hottie this, this, at this Arnold, do you think that is one of the better physiques that's ever came across in any year, any gener- Like, was he that good? Yeah. You know, I, I said a physique like that would have taken a 09J, would have taken certain years Ronnie, certain years Phil. I believe he was that good. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to repeat myself, and people are going to say, oh, you always repeat yourself. But uh, I've seen Phil Heat at uh, Hyatt. We had a, a breakfast. And I go, Phil, what do you think uh, about my statement that Hadi could potentially won every IBB Pro Show he ever entered to 12 and open? And then he, uh, you know, he says, 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 I wouldn't disagree, which means he would beat you, you know, when, when, when he had to, uh, 2020 when uh, Phil was third and Hadi was fourth uh, due to the prejudging, because prejudging Hadi was considerably off i don't know if you remember yeah, yeah. they even pulled him out of the top before. five they even put him in this one comparison out of top five you know so it was quite shocking mm-hmm. but at the finals he plays second to from every judge Mommy. and uh, listen if they if the show started on saturday maybe he they would give him first place but when when somebody's so behind right yep. they're not gonna do that yeah so yeah arguably how could have won every pro show he ever entered but that was maybe his best I version. His best. I mean, that's the best. I, I wasn't at the Vancouver show that they talk about when he beat Ian and Nathan and other guys. I wasn't there, but from whatever I've seen in person, that was one of the that was yeah. one of the better physiques I've seen. How do you see him of. against two thousand nine? You'd have to put them next to each other. <laughs> that's that's all. Because Jay had the width, and you know, yeah, 
it, it would it, it wouldn't have been a cakewalk. Size matters, yeah. It does. I mean, you know, 2008 Olympia, Dexter Jackson in great condition and shape was there. Even though he says, oh, no, I was out of your mind. I said, Jay's presence dominated so much in the prejudging that uh, you could you could felt it. Yeah. You could felt who is the winner right there. He even, uh, I, I said, I made a phone call to Jay. With that, how do you beat him. Jay when you called him a stage decoration? <laughs> I'm just fucking. In 2007, <laughs> hands down. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You're being a bully. You're bullying Jay in his own podcast. He he said I had a fake arm. So yeah, <laughs> uh, what else you say? <laughs> Something else. Uh, Ironing board with abs. Ironing board. Uh, wow. When did you call him that? The, yeah. I'm Mike Quinn, dude. Uh, then he asked me like you were talking about legs. He says hey, you ever had legs? I said those are great legs, man. Yeah. Seriously. That's one thing uh, when you age, right? You you you. Felt it now, right? You lose legs first. Yeah, I just don't train them hard, so. Yeah. <laughs> but I would never think in a million years I would lose my quads. Really? Did you yeah. lose them? Have you lost them? Oh, long, <laughs> long ago. <laughs> long ago? <laughs> they're, they're gone. I'm back in flamingo. But you category. don't train um, your legs, do you really? Yeah. I had a. He, he says, ah. I mean, that, <laughs> that I, I wanted that's to. That's no in Serbia. That's that's like, I'm going to ask you. Okay, let me ask. You train your legs? Me? Like three times a year. There you go. On a good year. On a good year, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll go and spur. I'll go and spur. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. when I train legs? When I train with him. Yeah, but a couple last last time he didn't want to do them. We, where were we? Somewhere, and you didn't want to do them. We went somewhere. We traveled. Was it Gold Gym Venice? Yeah. I yeah, did, I, I did. Yeah, arms. you didn't I do them. Yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, ask Hunter to train legs. Do it. My yeah, legs are still it. separated though, and they're still veins. <laughs> they're just waiting. They're just I'm gonna swing by on the way home. So yeah, all right. I'll tell them. Anything else? No, we just. Uh, I wanted you know we'll, we'll come back and do it again after. We'll get your opinion on your uh, visual from the screens, and yeah. uh, we'll be sending you the updates anyway. But uh, you know, all in all, let's uh, congratulate everyone that competed. Yeah. I think it was another successful show. Great job for Arnold for stepping up and uh, making it exciting. Getting some, getting some. Uh, conversation going on the internet a little bit when are you going to get your award oh i don't in know in a month from I now i don't know yeah, yeah. yeah. imagine imagine yeah. that they, they broke it backstage right? no 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 they explained they told me what happened oh, they, so yeah. the it must have got shipped the trophies are made in germany uh, and they shipped them all and they all got brought in and they they had them they they it comes to the expo hall or whatever so they go through all of them and they opened his was shattered uh, one of the women's wellness was shattered. There was like three of yeah. them were completely broke, but it was during transit from Germany. So it wasn't like a, but they found this out two or three days before. So that little award, yeah, they so called a that. local guy and said, how can you do something? And a local guy engraved it and got it to him yeah, like yeah. halfway through the day, just so he had something to hand him, but he's going to get some big, you know, you know, plate, whatever. All right. When you get it, we'll bring it in here and show it. Yep. All right. All right, we're out. Out. Let me see, Hunter. <laughs>